Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be doing a first impression review of a new collection from Mind Games called Perfumer Extraordinaire. It's a new collection that they just launched with two all new fragrances called Mentor and Prodigy. And this collection is all about celebrating artistry in the pursuit of a masterpiece. We have a new bottle design in black and white and these actually come in a really cool set. So this is what the outside box looks like for Prodigy. It's actually a really nice display kit. It also comes with 2 ml and the raw materials that the scent is focused around. So with Prodigy, that's going to be Rose Absolute and Patchouli. We love the Luxe packaging. And now let's talk about the scents. So we're gonna go ahead and start off first with Prodigy. And can I say, I love the white bottle. I think it's really pretty and it's going to give you a little bit of a hint into just how this perfume smells. So this fragrance is meant to bring familiarity and innovation together. And when the perfumer was creating this scent, she said that she was inspired by the twists and turns of a chess game and also wanted to create something cozy. And honestly, I think that she truly nailed it with Prodigy. So these fragrances are the opposite of linear. Both of these fragrances are insanely, insanely complex and dimensional and are really going to take you on a sensory journey when you smell them. And I wanna point out as well that you need to spray these on the skin. They smell very different on the skin than they do on the strip and that will vary from person to person. So when you go into store to test these, you need to put them on your skin because these fragrances really develop. And like I said, they take you on a beautiful sensory journey. So the notes in Prodigy, we have Rose Absolute, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. With cardamom and bergamot, a mid of patchouli and a creamy cafe latte. And they put the word creamy in there on purpose because this scent is incredibly milky creamy. With langosa flower, which is a very unique floral note that is known for its regenerative qualities. And in the base, there's sandalwood, vanilla, and blonde woods. It opens so Ethereal, I really feel like ethereal is the best way to describe this. It's so airy and especially on the skin, what I get the most is that coffee and sandalwood. And it does come off a bit denser on the skin with more of an emphasis on the sweetness, but it does really quickly start to change. Almost immediately, this fragrance takes a turn into a much more milky direction. You're really going to get more of that milky latte note, it's kind of like a, like a cream foam. It just becomes so milky, just like the bottle. And then soon after that as well, the rose starts to take over with some subtle green facets as well from that patchouli. But honestly, it smells pretty different on the skin. Like I said, you need to put this on your skin when you're testing it to really get the full idea and experience of this perfume, both of them. This feels like to me, just such a sweet, cuddly, warm, very comforting fragrance that semi gourmand but at the same time, which is why I really like it and why it really stood out in my memory when I smelled this for the first time. This is not my true first impressions because I did get to try these at Cannes. It stuck out in my mind because it feels incredibly elegant and I do get some sort of like cashmere quality to the scent. Like it has to be in here. It just, it has that effect that cashmere gives a perfume. It just feels luxurious and elegant while being warm and cozy at the same time, which is not that easy to come by, you know? I feel like fragrances that are super sweet gourmand, they're super sweet gourmand, you know? They're not like dressy, luxurious scents most of the time, but they really found a way to bring like the best of both of those worlds together in Prodigy. And I don't know what necessarily Longoza flower smells like, but I will say there is something very unique in this perfume that 
I can't really pinpoint exactly what it is and I can't compare it to anything. Like I'm not sure what that note is, but there is something in here that I've never smelled before and it might be that floral note. But still, as I'm talking now, the perfume continues to change and what it kind of turns into, I'm just gonna smell my skin at this point. It almost becomes this kind of like caramel coffee candy, but it's not caramel that's done in a really like a burnt sugar type of caramel way. It's not like Baccarat Rouge. It's nothing like that. Like the way that you might think of caramel. It's not that sweet of a caramel. It's very toned down. Like you just have to picture those like hard caramel candies is what this smells like mixed with coffee, but mixed as well with a really smooth, beautiful woodiness that isn't too heavy in the scent. I will say that this one does feel a bit feminine to me. I think that a man could easily wear it if you like dimensional gourmands, like a little bit on the sweet side. I think that you'll really love this if you love vanilla, coffee, things like that. It's just, I haven't smelled it on a man's skin yet. So, because most of the time, if you have a fragrance and you spray it on a woman's skin, Typically, the sweeter notes tend to come out more on a woman's skin versus the darker, woodier, maybe the coffee would come out more on a man's skin. So I'm not exactly sure how it smells on a man, but I think a man could wear this if he likes sweeter scents. This is a very strong, both of them are very, very strong. This one is a little bit softer than Mentor, but I tested this on my skin all day yesterday. I just sprayed it on the back of my hand and I could still easily smell it like that night, like eight hours later. I just love the coziness of Prodigy. There's something very like warming, welcoming about it to me that really makes me think of fall. I love the coffee. I love the way that they do this milky latte with the lightly creamy woods, insanely creamy. Like literally everything in this perfume is meant to be creamy. I think it's a really gorgeous upscale gourmand. And I've been thinking about it since CAD and I'm just like, pinch me now. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. But now I wanna move on and talk about Mentor, which also comes in the same set, but the essential oils that you're going to get with Mentor, Boya Oud and Amber. So this is a perfume that is all about celebrating contrasts, something that is very indulgent and complex and another take on a gourmand fragrance, but with some darker notes and an ambery base. And the nose behind this scent created this to have the wearer rediscover their senses. So the notes in Mentor, guys, I'm telling you, these fragrances are just, they're something else, they're so yummy. So in the top of Mentor, we have salted caramel with Italian lemon, and this is where it gets fun, dark plum with amber, coffee, cassis, boya oud, sandalwood, and tonka bean. This opens just with this huge blast of intensity. It just like, captures your attention. It's bold, it's sweet, it's very attractive and confident. You get this deep, deep caramel and dark plum together. It smells festive, like something for the holidays, kind of Christmassy, like something celebratory, like some sort of like deep spiced wood here. It's very invigorating. It just makes you happy when you smell it. And on the skin as well, this one comes off a bit darker and I get something I'm only gonna spray one because this one is very, very strong, but I almost get something that comes off a little bit like tobacco on my skin. It's pretty subtle. It's not like a overpowering note in the scent, but I do get something like that. And the coffee is here too that I, oh, I love the coffee, but it's not done in a super milky way like it is in Prodigy. It's more like a, black coffee, but not in a bitter way. It's really kind of crazy to say, but it kind of comes off a little bit like cold brew. Like it has that smoothness, you know, that cold brew has versus just like a, like a hot coffee. It's very smooth and silky and it's not too oody, but it definitely has this kind of darker wood tone that gives it a bit of life as it settles, especially on the skin. This one is also, really, really good. And I will say as well, this does lean a little bit masculine. There are some darker notes here that I think that men are going to be more drawn to, but it's my type of perfume too. Like I will wear this all day long. 
it's just sexy. Like there's something, as it dries, it gets sexy. It opens very happy, invigorating, Christmassy, but as it settles, it gets very sensual and darker and just really sexy. And also Mentor gets a little bit creamy in the dry down. That dark plum note is just, it is so appealing. Kind of like a mixture of dark and light. And you wanna know something that I discovered when testing these out? They layer together so well like so so well when you spray like if i spray prodigy on top of mentor it just like it's crazy how these perfumes just melt together and it really just brings out the best of each scent and i think that it also kind of creates a more like right there in the middle unisex option they're really yeah yeah oh it's so good together so good they are amazing on their own but if you wanted to get both of them you can blend them together to create a new scent blend them together for a new wearing experience and what i like too is that they have a really good sustainability mission the price is going to be a bit of a hot topic 475 dollars for 100 ml well, for the kit that I showed you with the raw materials. I would love to know what you guys think about that price point down in the comments below, especially when it comes to mind games, because I feel like they've really just kind of, they've been dominating lately. It's a really beautiful house that I really have been enjoying because I feel like mind games is bringing something new to the niche market. I like that they're bringing this new concept and fragrances that are different, but still very appealing. Like there's literally not one that you'll dislike. Like there's not one Mind Games fragrance that is polarizing. They all have this really nice certain appeal about them, but at the same time, luxurious scents. Like you can feel the quality in every aspect, the scent, the bottles, the packaging. You cannot deny that it's a luxury product, but I would love to know what you guys think about mind games and their price points in the comments below. The best part about it is that you can very easily test Mentor and Prodigy and the entire mind games collection at many different department stores. They carry them at Nordstrom, Saks, Bloomingdale's. I've seen them in almost every single department store that I've been in. So I would definitely recommend going out to the store to try them out and order them on the Mind Games website because you can use the code ERICA10 to save 10% off. And that's the only place that you can get a discount on these perfumes. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.